Okay. I was over to the house a couple weeks ago, yeah. and my, my uh, father went to the grocery store for my mother. My mother and I are watching the afternoon news, and we see on the afternoon news, All right. there's a guy on the same highway way my down, father's down, on, driving his car the wrong way. It's on the news. I never saw my mother shake like that. Well, two hours later, my father comes to the door. She leaps off the couch. She's hugging him and kissing I was so worried about you. I wasn't on the news. One guy, one All right, stupid guy. My father looked at her, he said, one, there was hundreds. <laughs> She's so real. True story, I'm not making any of this up. My mother has the life button. You know the button, I fall in and I can't get up the button, right? You know. So I go over to the house, she's not wearing a button. I go, Ma, you gotta wear the button. She goes, I'm not wearing the button. At night, when I wear that button, I hear voices from heaven. <laughs> Instead of taking it off at night when she went to bed and putting it on the nightstand, she'd wear it. Well, in the middle of the night, she rolls over, hits the button, the voice box in the kitchen's going, Sarah, are you okay, Sarah? <laughs> We're coming for you, Sarah. We're gonna take you away soon, Sarah. <laughs> no, you know how to say opposites attract? My father's very direct. Oh, he said, you give him the question, you get the answer, you know. Yeah. Dad, did you get a flu shot? Yeah. Where'd you go? Yesterday. How'd you get there? The car. You okay, all right? Yeah. Ask my mother the same question. Ma, did you get your flu shot? Oh, we got in the car. <laughs> your father decided to take the back road into town. You know that road? It's a bumpy road. We shouldn't be driving there. It's the road that goes by the church. Now it's going to go to church anymore. Oh, have you seen that church lately? It's so dirty. It's a mess. That's because Mary doesn't remember Mary. Oh, Mary used to clean that church. She kept it in But she quit one day. Nobody knows why. Oh, I know why. She had a big fight with all the time. She's lucky. She got a new job. She's working at that diner. Oh, I hate the food in that diner. I don't know why I'm going in that diner. Your father, your father came out of that diner the other day. He looked real sick to me. I said, you know, that reminds me. We better get our flu shots. So we went yesterday. <laughs> Any Catholic school cheerleaders? <laughs> they, they don't survive that. It's a tough job. Well, no way. You public school people had it easy. You did. You lived in a city. You went to public school. Where'd you go to school? You went to P.S. Public school had a number. What'd you do as a cheerleader? Every day you go, Give me a P. Give me an F. Give me a 101. What's that spell? He's 101. That's easy, man. You try being a cheerleader at Immaculate Conception High School. What's that building? Who the hell knows? <laughs> the game's over. Wait for you here. <laughs> you gotta quit. Did you ever try to grab them little blue dots that you see? <laughs> I got a bad knee. I, yeah, I ache all over. Did anybody do copper? Do you do the copper? Tommy copper, the sleeves? I tried it. I had a copper sleeve for my ankle and a copper sleeve for each knee. I had a copper sleeve, one for each elbow and a copper one for my shoulder. And a big copper band for my back. Not a copper. If there's an electrical storm outside, I gotta ground my ass before I can leave the house. <laughs> Just had my knee replaced six months ago. Dude, the operation was 12 o'clock. Four o'clock that afternoon, they had me out of bed. Well, I'm hopping around like this, you know, maybe we'll all be out of here tomorrow. <laughs> then the meds were off. <laughs>